All right, guys, welcome to episode 107 of Dope Talk TV. It's your truly low key. Got John here with me, got Jay over here. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop, all right? And listen, man, go down in the description and y'all go get yourself some merch, okay? We're going to go ahead and get that popping, too. But we bite, we bite, we bite. How we feeling, boys? How we feeling? How we feeling? Shit. Damn, bro, I smell the fucking wine coming off of that blunt. Oh bitch. It. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, that shit was aged for like yeah. fucking Yo, you ever heard 12 of years. Yeah. <laughs> ever heard of wood tip? <laughs> Whoa. This guy said some suspect things. Holy I like fuck. it. Though. Nah, this guy, man. Kinda turns I'll me show out. her a fucking wood tip. Yeah. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with my sexuality. That's all that means, yeah. guys. I'm not yeah. gay. It's they say like I'm, the body. They, they say I'm dressed like I'm fucking about to go fucking shoot. Yeah, Some he breeze. looks like he's dressed like nah. fucking and one kid. I'm bombing. I'm bombing. <laughs> That's what he's dressed like right now. He looks like he's about to put his basketball on his shirt, spin oh. it around. Oh. oh my god. Oh. <laughs> you ever seen like Mike? They call him the Viking. <laughs> I look like Jason Kidd in that bitch. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, he was in that movie. He he was. I like and Trace McGrady. Oh, the basketball but, uh, players are not the same. Yeah, they're actually oh. better. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. The basketball. Nah, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Our era of basketball was the best after Jordan's. Because <coughs> we had Kobe, bro. Like we had so many greats, man. Iverson, fucking who else, Vince bro? Carter. Who else? Vince Carter, and, uh, which is from Florida too. This nigga yeah, Maitland, Maitland High School. He went to Mainland High School, so shit. Oh, wow. What the fuck Daytona is going Beach. on here? What's going on here? Like Daytona I Beach. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. We had technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. <coughs> but yeah, nah, he's from Florida. Uh, there was a lot of people in the NBA back in the day that were just... My favorite was Paul Pierce, bro. I just... I, I like oh, the peace. energy he brought. He won a few championships in Boston, you know, which was Boston. my favorite team, the Celtics. So... Yeah, man, I fuck, I fucks with the basketball players from back then. I'm a full sure. yeah. well, Listen, man. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with them. You know what I mean? Now. You know what I don't fuck with is Tell schmucks, me. right? Ooh. I don't fuck with schmucks. <laughs> okay? I haven't Tell heard that word in forever, bro. Bro, Tell there was more. a girl that fucking, uh, I don't know, Johnny Boy, she called you a schmuck or said some <laughs> shit about schmucks? Yeah, she said, yo, if you're a fucking schmuck, then you're, you'll always be a fucking schmuck. You know what I mean? Shh, shh. Schmuck. Schmuck. A schmuck. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. She sounded like she was in the army. She had a fucking tattoo around her fucking bicep. You no, feel she me? just like, woke up this morning and chose violence. Yeah, yeah she, said, that's what, she yeah. said, if you're a fuck boy. Yeah, you're always going to be a fuck boy. If you're boy. a schmuck, you're a fucking schmuck. <laughs> that's basically schmuck. what it is. If you're and a I fuck think boy. if you're a miserable bitch, you're always going to be a miserable bitch. You know, that's just my opinion, though. Yeah, you know, nah, 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 nah. That was, that was her bio, though. She was... It's not like what she wrote me. No, I'm just saying yeah. though. I just that's just but my it was opinion. for you. But yeah. it, I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's the first thing I, I see. Took it personal. I took it personal. <laughs> she probably thought I was a smug for even fucking. You know? <laughs> she she, she, John's she like knows. Repost. She knows who the schmucks are, bro. These girls be knowing. Sounds probably like a her boyfriend. <clears throat> She's just venting. Nah, bro. It, it's crazy. There's some words that you don't be hearing for like 50 years. It's like who the fuck says schmuck anymore? Like dynamite. <laughs> what are some words like that part? Oh come on, bro! Again, that was so overplayed. Who sings that again? Uh, Migos. The Migos. <laughs> this nigga said, "Yo, we almost hyperventilated in this bitch." Nah, we looked Migos. it up. It's Schoolboy Q, guys. It's Schoolboy Before Q. Before you do it, <laughs> we're I gonna want, tell you. <laughs> I want to talk about that because <laughs> he was like, "Wow, he's confident." You know, this what? nigga <laughs> was confident as a bitch full time in this whole like Drake yeah, said. Yeah. <laughs> You know what they say, bro. You got to stay confident. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. This nigga can lie his way into a fucking church. Nah, fuck. Fucking <laughs> with his confidence, his no, bitch ass. No, no, no. I, th I really thought it was fucking Migos, though, to be real with you. Ooh. I just think. Because they're like, ah, oh, yeah, that part. No, no. They've never in their I just don't even life. go like that. Fact, <laughs> they've never uh, in their, yeah, You know what it part. is? It's the tone. It's yeah. the it's it's the tone. Is that what it is? Yeah, you're singing it in the wrong tone. So I, I can't I don't know what song you're talking about. I know why I came in this club with you, girl. I know why I came in with these diamonds on my chain. Do around and around my bitches, I can't get them on my face. Is it cause a nigga <laughs> yeah, so man, wealthy? Hey. Round of a fucking applause yeah. to us, bro. We just put on a motherfucking concert in this bitch. These Fuck are these niggas talking about? Make safe coming soon. Yeah. Make safe coming soon with songs that already Beat. came out. Beat. That's fucking wild. Beat you know what I was? Somebody's getting <laughs> fucked. Did you hear that guy? 
<laughs> yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Somebody's yeah. getting pulled over. I was like, what? City, them. What special effects, bro? What the fuck? Nah, I never them cops are chasing somebody, bitch. Welcome to fucking Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Florida. But now, listen, man. And one, guys. You remember that era? The and one era? With the, the and one mixtape? Yeah. Dress. Niggas was fucking... Yeah, the mixtapes, they were fucking doing all time. They was cool, though, bro. It yeah, made you want to go outside oh, and play yeah, some nice. fucking ball. Yeah. Hell yeah. Bro, everybody it was, was a trying different... to do those moves. <laughs> oh, yeah. And everybody wanted to wear and one. Yeah. They actually grew that company to be the second biggest company behind uh, Nike when it yeah. came to, like, Basketball apparel and shit. That shit's bad. That's you know, they big. Were doing, they, they were on the street ball game. Yeah, hard, they were. Bro. Yeah, they were. I Rucker remember that. Park. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, the Rucker. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the Rucker. The but Rucker. That, that shit was crazy. Like yeah. there was some. There was some basketball players that really like could have been in the NBA, but they, you know, they they rather play street ball. So the Rucker. Shout out to them, man. Round of applause. Shout out to them for starting that avenue for basketball players. Yep. You know that yep. didn't necessarily want to go to the NBA. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Ball's life. Yeah, facts. Ball's life. Big facts. But listen, man. Going back to fucking uh, slang. You know what I'm saying? Slang Nowadays, day. these fucking girls are calling every other guy zaddy, right? And it's one of the funniest words I've ever heard in my life. Whenever <laughs> I hear it, bro. Zaddy. 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 Yo, I'll tell you what. <laughs> you can call me whatever the fuck you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. fucking oh, just be nice. Fucking talk to do me a nice. Spread eagle, real quick. Right? Bro, they just talk to, <laughs> talk to me nice. How they said? Talk to me nice. Bro, they <laughs> added those words to dictionary.com recently, and Whoa. they say that Zaddy's an attractive man who is also stylish, charming, and self confident. So you got three Zaddies right here, right? Is that how it goes? Yeah, because I got the confidence and I got the bald head. <laughs> That's, That's all you need, baby. <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah, she just needs to eat and skeet. That's Ooh, all it is. Whoa. If wow, I my oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding, guys. I'm guys, not. don't look up. Don't look up the I'm definition not. of that. We like to party. That's yeah, it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. all you need to know. Tell no. the truth, John. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I didn't party this weekend, man. You know, and I fucked. Hey, good. bro, round yeah. of applause to you. My dog finally didn't fucking go out. Yeah, wow. Facts. You know what I'm he's saying? He's going up, guys. Right before my he's, eyes. He's right before my eyes. The past two weeks, I've been like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm just gonna stay home and beat it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay home. I'm gonna play Call of Duty and beat it. And and order food. Order food. That was a big one. And had bad say. luck with it. Yeah, I had cinnamon sticks, pizza hut, ate it all. And they brought fucking Alfredo and got yeah. them. He <laughs> ordered pizza and they brought hot dogs and, and chicken wings. <laughs> I thought I'd pay forty two thirty three and a bag of chips and forgot the drink. I thought I forgot the drink. I hate when that happens, bro. When you order online and they forget the fucking the stupid yeah. ass straws or stupid ass fucking drinks, like or my fucking sauce. It's like, damn, bitch, I'm gonna have to eat this dry ass fucking nuggets. These dry ass fries. It, it, it literally makes you want to just like. Just delete the app and never fucking. It's like no, nah, it makes you want to call the fucking dasher and be like, "Yo, bitch, I just sent you five bucks for you to forget my sauce." Facts. The fuck. Yeah, it's Dang like they it. don't give a fuck. But you know what? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know, man. I noticed that this world is fucking big, man. There's a lot of people that we run into and you never see them again, like ever, ever again. That's ever a fact. like this Most dasher. People. That's how these dashers are. They're like, bitch, <laughs> I'm not from this city. Nah, but if I do. I'm if not gonna see up. if I see you again. So oh, I got the, I got the setting I got the setting on you know don't ring the doorbell bitch. So they drop that bitch and go. They drop it and go. Hey, I hate when like, they ring the doorbell and then my dog starts fucking barking and I gotta pick up my strap. Damn. Thinking somebody's fucking breaking in. Or some Just shit. leave the food on the fucking yeah, front bitch. Side. You need a ring, bro. The ring doorbell so you can talk to him. Be like, hey, bro. If you touch that doorbell, I'm gonna come out there and fucking. Bro, you see the delivery doorbell. guy that took the food to the door and the girl's like, you could just leave it at the front door. And, like, you could see that he looked at her, and then, like, he keeps looking up. Like, he wanted a tip. Wow. And then she's like, uh, you could just leave the food at the front door. And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's not moving. Then all of a sudden, he grabs the soda, nigga, and he just, like, slams it down and, and grabs the food and throws it there. And the guy opens the door, and he just walks away. And the guy's, like, picking up the soda. I would, like, I would have grabbed that whole two liter. And I would have fucking hit that dude in the back with that shit. <laughs> bah! Right after I'm like, hell no. Fuck nah, out of here. you do got me fucked up, bitch. We nah, already gave you a tip, nah, bro. Yeah, the yeah. fuck yeah. out of here. Even when you order that shit, yeah, fuck like, out of here. The fuck out of here. I tell Ivy the same thing. I would have hit him with that two liter. Because he slammed that shit on the floor. He threw that shit with the whole bag. He didn't throw the food through. He grabbed it and he was just like kind of dropped it on the floor. Man, I, I dropped drop him on the floor. Fuck out of here. I would have hit him yeah, for nice. <laughs> Nah, that's wild, bro. I used to do that door-to-door... -door, uh, 
Uh, sales uh, shit? No, nah, uh, yeah, sales. I used to do door to door sales. Hate yeah. Door to door sales. Don't knock, hey, don't knock on yeah, my door selling me shit. If I want it, I'm gonna go get it. Yeah, I don't think it will work now. I'm I not ordered it from Amazon. Looking you know like what a, no soliciting means? That. People you know fucking, when you see the signs that say no soliciting? Yeah, people judge you, bro. Yeah, P- people judge you, literally. Yeah, they do. They see tattoos on you. They automatically think oh, that yeah. I've already, certain, I, you have a certain <clears> lifestyle and shit. I've already went through an altercation because somebody was, was like, hey, man, you know, I was in a gang once. And I was like, why? Why do you say that? Because I got tattoos. Remember at the beach, I told you? I was in a gang. And I was like, bro, I'm not in a gang. I would have told that nigga, well, good for you, bro. I'm bombing over here. We don't fucking do that shit. Yeah, bro. Like, fuck out of here. So, do you want to get your ass beat without a gang? (laughs) (laughs) Now, you let him know. Yeah, nah, facts. Like, Guys, for real. that gang banging shit it's not isn't cool. big. It, it's, it's not even that. It's just not big over here. Like it's, it's not, not our. It's not from here. It's not our culture. Like you don't ride around Florida and see Bloods versus Crips and all this other shit. It. It's like if that's what you do, cool. But don't I'm, just assume that everybody that has tattoos is like a, gang. a gang member or a convicted felon or just whatever the fuck. I'm just a, re- a rebellious person. That's all. Yeah, we have I, maybe I just like art. Maybe, maybe I just, I just want it on my body. Lo- I want to ruin my mom's Maybe life. I wanted a tattoo, a hundred dollar bill on my dick. Who's the, was it to you? I huh? saw it. How and about it looks that? Real. Just welcome. They did a good job. Welcome to Florida because there's <laughs> cops that are doctors. You know, cops, doctors, fucking lawyers. That there's cops that are doctors. There are there's cops that are doctors there and are. lawyers. There are though. Whoa, whoa. There are. <laughs> That's crazy. That's mind blowing. Holy fuck. That's true. It's facts. But anyways. Different people, bro, in different professions, they have tattoos. Yeah. Like, facts. especially here in Florida. You see it a lot. It. I yeah. Don't <laughs> I don't believe it either. Nah, bro. But it's, it I've, seen, are not I've seen now. EMTs. Yeah. They pull up niggas, like, cut in half on the road, and they're just getting out the bag with fucking full sleeves and yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, I see, you see it, it more now. They are. But, but you can't 20, have, like, some naked chick on your fucking, yeah, like, the old Puerto exactly. Rican and Hispanic tattoos. My no, 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 no. Like, next shit. Yeah, facts. And he's like, <laughs> even in the mil- even in, yeah even, even in the military even like in the military that yeah I've nah that's how it was yeah. at, at, in security too but security you just got to wear like a long sleeve Under Armour or something oh, you yeah, just got to yeah, cover yeah. it up but you got you're a lot like nowadays is way more accepted oh yeah thirty years ago 25, 20 years ago you had tattoos you weren't really getting you were hired a killer. Like yeah, like it was you. You had just got like out of prison. Face tats. Back then, if you had face tats, people were like this guy's a killer. Now you got face yeah. tats. I assume you rap and have now, music on yeah. SoundCloud. Now you, no, no, yeah, hey, that's, you, that's fucked you up. do rap. And you, <laughs> <laughs> you do rap if you have up. fucking Damn, face tats. Wow. Big oh ball. Oh my, that thing's that's possessed. amazing. Round of applause. <laughs> Maybe that's your problem. <laughs> Round of applause. Have you ever seen the movie? That Glob? looks like a fuck. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what it is. <laughs> I just want to grab it. You know what I mean? The way he's looking at me, he's like, that's just gonna come to life. He's going to come to life and fucking kill us. <laughs> Looks like your left testicle. <laughs> but nah, listen, man. This Aunt Jemima situation has me fucking mad. Right? We have the original bottle at my mom's. What? The Aunt Jemima shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, now you ain't going to have Keep it for life, nigga, because that's going to be worth millions one day. Like, I know. My mom has it. Because it's crazy how it's getting out of hand. Like, now everything is racist, bro. Now Aunt yeah. Jemima, you can't say Everyone's like it. Everyone's soft as It's like, fuck. what the fuck? I remember Aunt Jemima was the, the lady on the syrup bottle. <laughs> Yeah. Like what the fuck is wrong with that? Now she's a racist. Now it's symbol. racist to fucking yeah. It's like it's racist to have Andrew. Like come yeah, on, man. come on, man. Come Everything on, bro. can't be fucking lady. racist. Love. We love that lady. Why can't we just love? And I her don't syrup? want the syrup if her face isn't on it. Yeah, don't, it's just I don't not even the want same. a white person on it. Yeah, no, it's not the same. We're, I'm not we're, racist. I just dislike everybody <laughs> equally. <laughs> Let me put it to you like this: If Thanks. I don't eat your syrup, I won't eat any other syrup. Okay, so now nah, I'm with him. I'm done. I'm I haven't bought him. syrup ever since. Like, Yo, look, Canada yeah, has the best syrup, I anyway. Guys. Canada? Yeah, man. Canada's known they have for the best maple, maple syrup. Yeah, yeah, they're known for their syrup. I need it. I need to go to Canada one day. I want a maple tree. Huh? Maple tree. How do you make? No, maple? that's a process. My cousin made some. Shout it's out from to a Opie. tree. Yeah, but like, yeah. how do you make it? Yo, he fucking like taps the tree. Like he was putting shit, and he taps it, hangs a bucket, and from there the tree's gonna start dripping like that fucking. Sack so you just stab the fucking tree. <laughs> that shit just standing there bleeding <laughs> out. <laughs> he <laughs> he, he thinks it's like he has to cut down the tree. Yeah. He do some crazy shit. No, to I thought him. you have to like get the leaves and like it, fucking it, boil them. Like, no. He's like, dude, like that easy. But then you I'm boil it, it and then you turn, you know. I'm gonna go get me a maple tree and start <laughs> fucking stabbing that bitch. Bro, like, <laughs> buckets. Yo, you what happens if you can't? Like, it's just you got re- you run out of buckets. What happens then? 
That's a lot no, of syrup. Not, it's not like that, bro. My cousin uh. had like one bucket. And he made like jars. He filled up man jars. <laughs> one tree get uh, you blood that motherfucker out if you fill up like four buckets. No, Fuck but that's just a here. skill, bro. That's no, it is a skill. But listen, guys, stop good. being fucking soft Sensitive, about everything. And Jemima's and Jemima, and I don't want it no other fucking way, bitch. But listen, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is another thing that's starting to get fucking out of control. They're attacking freedom of speech. They're attacking freedom of speech. Any post, any hashtag, anything on any type of platform that they don't like, that they, don't like they automatically flag your shit and they block it. They, you can't see it, whatever the fuck. It's smells crazy. like communism. This, yeah. is, this is our theory, guys. Theory. Here we go again. Fuck oh, you. Here we fucking go. Let me tell you something. Fuck. That's my opinion. <laughs> That's yeah. what that is. Yeah, We're not allowed to that, have that. Yeah. Yo, who's this person on Apparently. the motorcycle riding back and forth and back it's and forth right, and back Mom. and forth? It's all right. Don't Seriously, all right. It's, it's, it's bullshit. You know what I mean? We don't have freedom of speech anymore. Bro, so. that's how fucking okay. communism starts. People, it's yeah. true what Pitbull said. People need to take a look at Cuba. See what's going on over there right now. Look at what is it, South Africa right now? That this chaos mm-hmm. right now. Yep. It's a disruption of everything, and it's all part of a plan. And now all of you that are sensitive, like we were just talking, feeding into the all that bullshit, you guys are part of the problem. Yeah, man, you gotta live your life and let, and understand yeah. that problems are gonna happen, bro. People are gonna yeah. dislike you. People are always gonna protest. Now people want to protest everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, live your fucking life. Mind your fucking business. Go to work. Support your family. You know, you young kids, you guys are being brainwashed and are gonna be the most following ass generation of any probably in history. It's like Facts. sheep, man. A lot of sheep. Y'all are sheep getting lined up to for slaughter. That's yeah, what the bro. fuck you are. It's sad that a lot. You know, most like you said, most of the younger generation, bro, is like. They don't really think for themselves. Yeah, they don't. They let Twitter social media th- Twitter them. things for them, Instagram yeah. things for them, just posts and videos that they see <laughs> on on social media. Like yeah. that's that's what they where they they get their information and it's like, bro, there's a lot of shit. Yeah, there's no, a lot uh, there's a lot of different ways to get information besides social media. Yeah, and most no, of that yeah. shit is fake, bro. That's the problem with social media. They want to talk about fact checkers. I see these fact pages and sometimes I'm just skimming through them and there's so many things that are not facts on there that you can just easily find out yeah. that that's not true. Real talk. But that shit doesn't get flagged. But I post something about Wait. freedom. Who's fact checking the fact checkers? People just like us. Mm. People just like us. Nobody fact check. That's why they're trying to take them to court. Donald Trump, shout out to you. He's the first dude. He's suing all of the major social media platforms plus their owners or creators. On like, He's the first person to ever saw. Yeah, so. Freedom, bro. Was just fucking you ain't coming for my guns. Yeah, nah, I'm keeping my shit. Nah. I don't know what the fuck y'all thinking. You know why they want to take it, right? They want to take the guns. Exactly for what the Second Amendment says. Take the guns so then they can fuck us. Fuck you How right in the arse. defend ourselves, right? Nah, you ain't taking my guns. If there's just... It just surprised me that the way that communism is, bro, right now, like, we don't do anything about it. Like, we're like, you know what? It's just normal. That's their government. I mean, like... I mean, how just are you going to gonna fight but just the to government? Think of, I know, just to think of it, though, just like, wow, it's like, that's what's happening right now in other countries. You know what I mean? It's like, wow. It's that's happening like, here. Just, I know, but <laughs> slowly, slowly. You know what I mean? But it's not like that where, like, oh, they, they got to be asked. I don't know who told me. I don't know if it was one of you guys or somebody told me that they went to Cuba. Not me. And, not or, or they knew somebody, they went to Cuba, and they went to go visit somebody. And it's so strict that they went to the house. Oh, that's was, Ivy's dad. That my was you. Dad. That yeah, was my you. My father-in-law. That was you. Yeah. yeah, that's how strict it is. So, like, they yeah, asked them. They're like, hey, like, are you staying the night here? And they're like, nah. I mean, like, yeah. Or he's like, he yeah. Was like, yeah. On a, he was on a yeah. visitor's visa and not a family visa. Yeah. So he couldn't stay at, at his girl's house. He had to go stay at a hotel. But they know that like, you. that's where you're at. They came to the crib like, my man. Yeah, that's, that's just crazy. That's, that's, wild. Yeah, that's wild, man. But that's what that's what happens when the people don't fight back. Taking right out books time. in schools, right? If you look at like I watch a lot of documentaries. You look at all the documentaries about the Nazis, all these thing um people that like you know the Roman Empire and things that rose. Like you take out history books, you take out things. You see what I'm saying? You take down statues and you slowly start implementing different things in school with young kids. Why is school so important to start implementing these things? Because remember, what you teach the kids in the first years of life is going to be their foundation for the rest of their life. Yeah, that's a fact. The first six, seven years is the most important time of a child. So imagine the school system getting in there. You're just a parent that's like, you know, like a lot of Hispanic parents, I know. Yeah. Oh, let the school system raise them. And then your kid ends up like going against you. Like, look at all these kids killing their parents lately. I'm like, yo, the Bible says that shit's going to happen. Yeah, it's no, nah, that's wild, bro. But yeah. it's just, <clears throat> I mean, you can't always blame it on the parent, 
But a lot of the times it, it is the parent not checking in, not checking in on what the school is teaching. You know what I'm saying? A lot shit of like that. Found out after they started doing the homeschool thing, you know, Zoom shit. Mm -hmm. They said that a lot of parents started hearing, obviously, what their kids were being taught, and they're just like, "What the fuck is this shit?" You know, and that's why you Google the it's videos changed, and people man. arguing with like the teachers <clears> on Zoom. <throat> and I'm just like, bro, it's just a scary thing because remember, we're gonna be get get old someday, right? Those are the people that are going to take care of you someday. If you don't have, like, kids, are those, this new kids right now, they're going to be the ones that are going to be wiping your butt and hopefully you don't get put in a nursing home. I yeah, think and those right, kids man. with their twisted fucking, let's kill this old person. I'm going to put my kids yeah, in private school, real. right? Bro, it's I want to be able to so homeschool them, bro. It's just finding out what they're yeah, being if we can, taught. Because yeah. right now, schools are letting, the, like, so many things, like, why is it 2021 and we're so focused on race? Did you ever think when you were in school, like we learned about that, but yeah, of course, yeah, we did. did. We watched know? Roots and yeah. shit. You yeah. assumed that that was someday gonna disappear, probably. Yeah, yeah that's but not that it was gonna be worse, and now it's like back like 19 fucking 70 something. Yeah, you know the thing is, bro, it's, it's mostly adults. I really feel like it's mostly adults because as kids, I remember being in the in a class where it was really mixed. It was yeah. it was yeah. white, Hispanic, black, everything, everything there. Like eight some Asian people. Like yeah. it was all of us watching Roots. Yeah, and none of we would watch it, and then go in the hallway and intermingle like exactly, like nothing. It was just a movie. To, you know normal. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it was just a show. Like, it was history. Yeah, it was like history in it, and we it's and history. It was, yeah. But it's like yeah, that exactly. That certain type of hate is taught, bro. Yeah, that's but you have my to point. Teach, like, like I told Ivy, schools, right? It's not the school's responsibility to talk to my kids about transgenders, racism, none of that. I'll do that at home. Yeah, fact. that's me as a parent. I'll talk like they're giving condoms to fifth graders now in school. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I saw that. I'm like fifth graders. No, no, no that's my job. To I talk remember, to bro. I remember. Oh, fuck, now man. that you said that, it's crazy because I remember back in middle school, they brought some fucking weirdo ass guys <laughs> to talk to us like they sat us down in the fucking boys locker room and they talked to us about sex and STDs and condoms and all these other, and I'm just sitting there like that's a parent's I'm job, like bro I'm just trying to go play some basketball yeah, you know, like, 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 <laughs> facts like you're kid, nigga, I was in 6th grade <laughs> yeah like, like what, what the fuck care? do I care about this right now I'm not even thinking of pussy right, right now right like you're a fucking kid at that age yeah. bro yeah. you know what I'm saying it's like I don't know bro but they're like they push that type of shit. They're trying to brainwash the Yeah. You know? And that's why I told Ivy, I was like, it's tough. Ivy knows, a, like, and you know her job, a lot of people come. And there's a lady, that's her job, training teachers and stuff. And she was telling Ivy, she's like, the school system's getting crazy. She's like, the oh, way sorry. things are. There was a teacher in Lake Mary that was fired because one of, like, I guess he was gay. And, like, one of the kids said something about him. I guess he was a teacher there for a long time. But they ended up firing him for something dumb. Because he gave his opinion on something. Or I think it was that he said he didn't, know, like, wasn't with it. And they fired him. But I'm just like, it's getting to a point where you got to be careful if you got a job. You don't get fired because you have an opinion. Yeah. Like, Opin I think that's You can't have up. an opinion. Boom, you're fired. You can't have an yeah. opinion that goes against the... the, the what everyone else The status saying. quo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, if and it, that's a scary thing. You can yeah. get fired for anything in Florida. Like, my buddy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't, they don't, they don't need a reason. reason. Yeah, he got fired for... Um, he passed the drug test and everything. In and New they, York, and, they do, though. And they just fired him still. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, so what was the point of the fucking drug test? They Listen, man, they, 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 they were bro. just trying to just find an excuse. I don't they know. They gotta go through the process. <laughs> yeah. like, what are gonna pretend? Ultimately, bro, like, it, they don't need a reason. If they don't want you working there, they Equal don't. Equal opportunity. Yeah, like, they don't want you working there. Yeah. But <clears throat> you know what I think is super dope, and I'm gonna give a round of applause to, is Netflix. Netflix is picking up gaming now, man. So yeah, a lot Netflix. of these streamers and shit, they're about to get a fucking Bag. I promise Yay. you, these these big gamers that have like three million subscribers on YouTube, them yeah. motherfuckers are gonna be getting like three to five million dollar checks yeah. because that's your face, nigga. You are the brand. Yep. So if you want to, if you want my face and you want my following to come on your platform and you spend bread, me. nigga, I need that. I need that guap. Yeah, it's me. It's my I face. <laughs> I, need I need that guap. But it's like yeah. I think that's super fucking dope, man. I've been telling this fucking guy over here for forever. I'm like, bro, get back into gaming, bro. This guy was quick scoping motherfuckers, three sixteen quick scoping shit. Now he just likes like, to do like fucking Thai porn. Yeah, yeah nah. you know, we try to get it like now he's addicted, money makers. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's nah, like come on, nah, bro. Nah, like man. that's something that you like to do, and that's something that you're great at, and that's something that there's an avenue now where you could literally become a millionaire Fact. just fucking sitting there doing what you like to do. 
Tell them pictures of your toes, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. bro. It's at some point, the stop. toe, the toe, but you could only put so yeah. much peanut butter on them. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Don't take. forget the whipped cream. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So. Nah, but for real, that's just super dope, yeah. man. That's just super dope. Yeah, one day. Let's get it. One day, man. One day. Let's get it. I'll is tell this you guy what, riding man. his motorcycle back and forth? <laughs> we appreciate yeah. everybody that's rocking, <laughs> liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. And listen, man, we got some music coming soon johnny yeah. boy got some songs coming yep. i got the second channel we're gonna put the link into the all that right in the description so y'all could go check that shit out okay yep. but listen we appreciate everybody we love you hey catch you on the next one catch you peace. peace 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 peace